It's back. It's bigger. But is it going to be better? Well, Emily, let's find out. It's Baltimore 2017. <laughs> And I'm Emily Earp. And we're sat here in the gorgeous grounds of Pottermore House for a day jam-packed with cultural goodies. There are six different stages dotted around the grounds where you can find everything from... Theatre. Food. Bouncy castle. The secret cinema. Sheep. Yoga. And music. I'm here with Sadie Haller, who just performed a lovely set. How oh, was that for you? you? Oh, it was absolutely amazing. Like, yeah. the acoustics in this room is just so good and, like, just a beautiful yeah. scene so as well. Yeah, it's so different from every other venue. It's yes, so nice. Yes, totally. Yeah. <laughs> um, when you were singing, you sing a lot about magpies. I was wondering yeah. how um, you kind of came across being kind of into magpies. Oh, well, I quite like the idea of, like, the rhyme, like, one for sorrow, two for joy. Um, and then I was like, oh, that's quite quite a nice idea for a song. So um, like I wrote a song about magpies and kind of like about love. So like wow. around the, the rhyme. Um, and then, yeah, so that's like the title of my EP, Two for Joy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, buy it now. <laughs> buy it now. Okay. Um, the last song you got, it was about kind of recent events and you got quite emotional. Do you kind of see your music as a bit of an emotional release for you? Yeah, so I feel like um, whenever I write, I write about... I don't always write about love because yeah. like I haven't experienced loads of it <laughs> but um, like I write about things which affect me or what I'd like to write about and what I'd like my audience to see like how I'm feeling or just like how they're feeling as well. festivals and obviously Love you've festivals. got the great festival yeah oh, thank you <laughs> and the Vindy. yes are yeah. there any other festivals you're playing at this summer um so i played at altitude last weekend which was absolutely amazing um just so lovely and i stayed for the weekend as well which is so cool um i'm also playing wonderfields which is in dunsford um glass denbury which is in denbury <laughs> um and sydney folk week as well oh, so awesome. really good are yeah. you working on anything else at the moment um I'm going to try and songwrite more and then hopefully come out with another EP soon. I'm oh. not sure when, but <laughs> very blurry, but hopefully soon. Brilliant. Yeah. We wish you all the best of luck. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for talking to us. Hello, I'm here with the cast of Godspell. So you guys have already done a performance of Godspell earlier this year and you played at Exeter Uni. How did that go? Yeah, that was really good. We did it at the Lemmy, nice. um, and we had a really good response from it, and we all really enjoyed it. So now we're going to do it again at Edinburgh Fringe. And your olive tree is dying. Time's ring and time's decaying, and bread is where your purse. So, OK, I want one of you in three words to describe what the show is about. Jesus, would you like to, yeah. to do this? <laughs> um, community solidarity and new beginnings that's four nice. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do four <laughs> <laughs> three <laughs> phrases slash words yeah that works that works yeah. fine so you play you are jesus yes in I the show jesus. which yeah. is quite a divisive role how have you, in yeah. you enjoyed it it's been yeah it's been quite a challenge but um i think it's just been really fun because it's stripped back any characteristics and just like looking at the words and like what it means and then you can kind of just put your own into it and I think each of us has found we can take a character and we've put our own little personalities into it so it's definitely become our own okay that's I cool think. so when you take it to the fringe it'll be a slightly different show to maybe what people are thinking yeah about definitely I think we've sort of changed it and it really is on that community vibe um, you don't have to necessarily believe in the faith or follow it but if you just appreciate the songs and the music and the messages that's all that really matters about it so what would you say is different about the those of you who have been before is different about like the fringe kind of audience compared to what a normal maybe university mm. audience would be yeah we went mm. before didn't we and i yeah. think 
um, with your university friends, you sort of know they're going to support you. Um, so I think you have to just keep pushing and trying for different audience mm. members. And when we like sing on the mile, we'll have so many different ages, from children to old people to, I don't know, yeah, different. Yeah, a lot more international as well, because obviously yeah. people come all around the world to go to the Fringe. So it's just like a different pool of people that you're going from. I also different. think you have to compete with a lot of different shows. So it's definitely going to test our selling skills on the mile. <laughs> <laughs> Alma, <coughs> if, I, if you approached me on the street with a leaflet, what would you say to me? It's about a show that goes beyond like the typical religion that people associate it with and it talks about like they said community and beautiful songs that really stick with you and also we managed to to give it a sense of eeriness as well like you don't always it it, it really grasps you and like it th there is like sense of happiness and then eeriness and you you really fall into the into the show and that's what i i think i'd say transcension i like it that's good <laughs> Okay, we're going to go down the line really quick, and you've just got to say one word to describe Baltimore Festival. Bright. Nice. Fun. Nice. Glittery. Nice. Eclectic. Oh. Quirky. Nice. I have one. Back to Alma. <laughs> Eccentric. There we have it. Godspell for Baltimore Festival. So I am here with Trip to Tori, who just came off the stage after an awesome set. How are you guys feeling? Hot. Very good. Hot? Yeah. Sweaty? Yeah, sweaty. To me, yeah. it's that weird, like, humid weather. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we played it last year, and just it was a baking hot day, and we had these stage lights on our faces, and just the first song, sweat was just gonna, you know, it's not bad this year, but right. Yeah, I think he's just learned how the microphone yeah. works. Yeah, so yeah. Was, so yeah. <laughs> just he was unsure. You were unsure there, yeah. but but no, yeah. It's quite a nice temperature for an outside gig, though. I think really. Yeah, it's good. A little bit of rain, but that's just to cool it's the sweat off. Yeah. <laughs> just as we're about to go on, you know, yeah. the, the heavens. It's rain, not sweat. <laughs> <laughs> When did you guys form the band? Oh, like you guys the uh, probably like maybe two, three years ago, I think. I think these you guys were together before, and then I joined, we're and then the you ones, joined, yeah. and then yeah. The add-ons. So this lineup's been around for about maybe a year and a half, maybe two years. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Sweet. And where are you guys located? Like uh, split between Barnstable and Bude. So. Oh, I love Bude. <laughs> so if anyone's new to your music, how do you think you kind of describe it to them? Like, what kind of vibes are you going for? You're looking at me. Um, <laughs> I can't, uh, ambient, ambient, alternative <laughs> rock. Yeah, yeah I mean, we, we have a lot of inspiration for like Foles, uh, Ben Howard, London Grammar, places, you know, even Pink Floyd. Oh, uh, at times. a mix of the old yeah. and new. Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that just his influence <laughs> on Bruce Springsteen? He's well, like, we guys, we've we got to do this. Yeah, we're born in the USA as our soundtrack <laughs> for the way here, <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, <laughs> Like instrumentally, we're kind of, you know, our music I think suits summer quite a lot with our like the melodic guitars and stuff. Oh, yeah. and quite quite festively, isn't it? Music? Yeah, yeah, I think we kind of suit these kind of places a bit more than say like pubs and stuff. Yeah. But uh, I guess that's just from where we're based, North Devon, yeah, by the part, coast, part really, by the coast yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So. Because you're all in different locations, do you write together or do you kind of write separately and break all together we, at once? I'm kind always in Barnstable from Butte, so I just come <laughs> up all the time. Yeah, well, those guys will work on lyrics together <laughs> and then... Yeah, he's taking your bed, yeah. he's taking your yeah. food. He's not taking my bed. You joke, <laughs> you, you joke, but it's all true. I didn't realise that his spare room's comfier than his actual bed. Yeah. So yeah, it is, I can vouch for that. Have you got any new music coming out soon? We, well, we released an EP uh, in February, just gone. Uh, but we're working on an album now, so uh, we're hopefully going to demo some tracks in the studio in July, I think. Yeah. Has that got any Bruce Springsteen on it vibes? Well, no, no. afraid <laughs> not, but uh, you know, maybe, maybe. Oh. <laughs> Oh yes, one word to describe Baltimore Festival. If you could just go along the line, 
Should we start from that end and we'll no, go this way? Right. Start from this end. Ready? Oh, God. A little bit of smoke coming out of his head now. Nice. <laughs> I, I don't know. Nice. Oh, I've, got, I've got to go for sweaty. I have to. <laughs> okay. uh, majestic. Lively. Hmm. Um, Plenty of time to think about it. Yeah. You've had I was the listening whole line. to everyone else, sorry. <laughs> no, it's cool, like, the, I just. One word. One word, okay. <laughs> Cool. Lovely. 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 <laughs> Lovely. Nice. Thank you so much, guys. Go and have okay. a pint, chill. Maybe don't sweat as much. <laughs> Relax for the rest of the day. Thank you so much for talking Thanks, to guys. us. Thank you for having us. Cheers. <laughs>stood here with the wait a second what is your show actually called it's oh, quite a long you, time guidance for amateur cider no, amateur guidance no. for cider no because I always got it wrong I'm here it's with the guidance. we don't know what our name is it's guidance, guidance for amateur cider, cider makers okay I'm stood here with the cast of guidance, guidance for, for amateur cider makers <laughs> who have just done their first run at Portimore festival how do you think it went guys I think we were pleased with it yeah. it was a really yeah. exciting really lots of okay fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was okay. Nothing went terribly. <laughs> no, no. Things didn't go great, but no, they didn't go better. Were, we're yeah, all alive, shaking. and that's all that matters. That's all that matters. And it went down well. We were pleased to see a nice yeah, reaction. It was a pretty yeah. full crowd in there, which is always nice to see. Yeah. And I know you had to cut a few scenes out of it just to cut down to time. So what's what would you describe the show as being if you if you? There was uh, the main this. character Travis, yeah. uh, played by me. For one scene, uh, the till assistant, and it was heartbreaking to yeah, lose Travis. Yeah, it's quite hard to um, work without Travis, <laughs> if I'm honest. <laughs> He's kind of the glue of the play, yeah. I'd say. Yeah. Uh, okay. We stuck Parts. through it, which shows the heart of this play. It's a lovely little uh. play. Um, I would I would say that the show is a kind of love actually set in uh, in Gloucester, because <laughs> yes. it's a kind of a, a group of people. They don't know where they're headed. They don't know what they're doing. But cider brings them together. Cider they're brings them together. together. Yeah, they're all connected in yeah. some strange way. That's nice. Yeah. That's it's kind nice. of, it's kind of, um, well, it's very, wait, what's the guy that writes that? Curtis? Richard, Richard Curtis. Curtis. Very Richard Curtis vibes. Um, quirky. Just with a reduced cast. So yeah. Yeah. instead no, I... No, that's nice, that though. I like that kind of, you play everyone else, don't <laughs> yeah, you? <laughs> so <laughs> David he, plays, he what's your character? I play Darren, who's um, a, a gay 18-year-old about to leave um, for uni, and he's kind of not really sure where his life's headed. Uh, I play Tom, who's a amateur cider maker, um, about 40 years old, and he's going through a divorce, which is always fun. So I play the farmer who has a very thick accent so you can't understand a word he says. I also used to play the till assistant before it was cut. Uh, and I play Darren's dad. I play a receptionist <laughs> and then a manager in of the, the local scene. council of yeah. this in the same scene. And then finally I play Sam who is Darren's love interest. So yeah. that's, that's so about seven characters yes. all together. Yes, and then I also nice. have a non-speaking part as man on train station with dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That classic my part. Nice, is. I like yeah, that. What would any show be without silent man on platform with dog? That's a good question. That's a good question. Today. Oh. So you have very thick Gloucester accents in the show. Did you have to work on them quite a bit, Josh? I know you're Welsh anyway, so you've kind of got Which that isn't Gloucester, thick but, uh, accent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, isn't that thick accent you can't really understand? Yeah, no, um, I, I come from farming Wales, so farming it's not Wales. too hard. No, that's true. Um, what about I, you two? I also, I grew up in Somerset, so it actually comes naturally nice. to me. There's only one hero here. here. <laughs> well, no, for me, <laughs> the, the, day, the day of the audition, I'd been watching Broadchurch, nice. so I just channeled Olivia Coleman in the audition, Excellent. which isn't quite the same accent. Accent, no, but it's accent close. En then, it's anyway. close enough. The title of the play is about cider making, and yet there is next to no cider making in the play. Is that right? <laughs> no. Well, well. <laughs> Earlier when I was asking Josh, he was like, "No, there's no cider making." <laughs> it's it's it. I think there's it's, no like. It sets. It is. It is the framework and everything involved. The framework for the relationships that yeah. we see. Yeah, yeah. That we don't see any cider being made, oh, but we hear okay. about it yeah. Yeah. and we, we see the and we see the benefits. <laughs> we see who drink cider we backstage. Drink cider. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you're going to go on just completely sloshed. Yes. Good times. Nice. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's like method acting, character. isn't it? Yeah, you'd probably all be really drunk anyway. Olivia Coleman. Olivia Coleman. <laughs> you heard it here first. She's an alcoholic. She's not. <laughs> 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 I don't know. That's true. <laughs> One last thing, one word to describe the Baltimore Festival. We'll go down the line. Uh, quirky. Nice. Uh, chill. Nice. Electric. Ooh, really nice. Awesome.
Okay, so I am here with Psycho Pomp, who just performed a set. How did that go for you guys? It was it was pretty good. It was our first acoustic set. We were yeah, we we enjoyed it a lot. It was a, it was a, it was a lot it was a lot smoother than I thought it was going to go. It was um, quite we were worried as, yeah. as, as as Gabriel says, we've never done an acoustic set before, so. And it's the first time we'd ever played a cajon. Never played a let cajon. Let alone on stage. Didn't so even know what a cajon was until yeah. like last I week. I was calling it a cajon. Yeah. Because uh, I'd only read it. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, okay, I thought it was a spice. <laughs> like I thought it was cajon. I've got a lot, I got a lot of cajun at yeah, home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cook yeah. with cajun. It's good oh. on chicken. It's good in wraps. Good. It is good. Good in beans, surprisingly. A little bit of spice in your life. A little bit of spice in your beans, <laughs> especially. So, what was it like playing a different set, acoustic this time? Well, I, we usually were quite energetic when we're live in electric so we've got a big sound so we had to kind of transfer that into an acoustic set which I think we managed in some way yeah I mean I I, I basically I dance to keep myself calm yeah. on stage yeah. um, and the more acoustic it is I mean it, it tends to get a bit softer in sound so you can't really dance around as easily yeah. so I had to be a bit more I had to think about it a bit more this time whereas when we're playing with the electric sets I can really just flail and it's, <laughs> and it's okay yeah, if you have got if you guys ever see psycho pump live look out for his dancing it <laughs> gets crazy it was quite wild the other day. It was, it was very tame today. It was, it was very tame. It's an acoustic yeah. set. The sound's tamer. Yeah. The dancing has to match the sounds. Yeah, and, um, you know, I'm dancing to a cajon, you know. <laughs> it doesn't lend itself to the flail. Yeah. The flail. It's being affectionately it's called, called the flail. It's the flail. I tried to come up with a name that wasn't the flail, but that's all that we could settle on. It's the flail. One, two, three, oh! guys either do an impression of him or you demonstrate Frank yeah, I've never seen Frank do the play you got to stand up you got to stand up that but like double the speed Ready, Frank off you go <laughs> faster pick up the pace yeah okay ready three two one play on play on play on you got to shake those hands like you're shaking maracas like maracas like angular maracas like angular geometric maracas okay 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 I yeah uh that got weird. Let's sit back down. Okay. Um, <laughs> so last time I saw you, Battle of Bands, and you guys, you know, you won it, and you're playing at Xbox next Sunday in a week's time. Come see us. Come please. How are you guys? How are you guys feeling down there? How are you feeling, Frank? I'm really looking forward to X Fest. Although I really like doing acoustic stuff, we're looking forward to playing some heavier songs at X Fest. You know, yeah. we've written some new ones especially for it, so we're quite looking forward to that. Yeah. What about you, George? How you feeling? I'm I'm very excited. Um, we've yeah, I mean we're, we're kind of rush writing a lot of songs at the minute, but like we're trying not to um, let them be bad, considering how quickly we're writing them. You know what I mean? I'm glad you yeah. said that on camera. Said yeah. That. Don't make don't don't make them good. <laughs> don't just try not <laughs> to let be them be yeah, bad. Yeah. Don't let them be bad. That would just be terrible. <laughs> So what's going to inspire you to write these songs? Do you guys kind of write about your own experiences? A lot of people <laughs> ask us this question, and uh, ultimately, w we can give varied uh, sources of our inspiration. Give me the truth. It's about Frank. Frank. Every yeah. song's about Frank. Apart from the one about the other guy. Even that. Even no, that's no, about even that. Is that secretly about me? So, so what we do sometimes, since Frank caught onto the fact that all the songs were about him, he gets kind of annoyed, and he's like, "No, write about other things." So we pretend we're writing about other things, <laughs> like, really "Oh, really Annabelle's Frank. about Annabelle, <laughs> whoever she is," right? Uh, no, really, it was a birthday Frank. present. Yeah. I, I personally thought it was really sweet that you wrote that song, but the annoying thing is she didn't turn yeah. up for the actual gig. So Did she not turn up? Yeah, she didn't turn up. But Frank was there. Uh, Frank it, was yeah. about, it was about Frank. Frank, Frank so was there, so yeah. I've kind of co-opted it. I was playing it's now it. really about Frank. That was my one attempt to steer away from the Frank stimulus, and it bit me. Um, so ever, ever since then, we've decided to go right back to writing about Frank. Okay. Yeah. So um, expect a lot of Frank-based tunes, uh, literal or... Um, Figurative. Brilliant. So, uh, any other gigs coming up for you guys? Have you got any big plans for the summer? We've got, uh, we've got a lot of stuff lined up in Freshers Week. Unfortunately, in summer, we're all kind of uh, we all live very far apart, uh, relatively speaking. Um, <laughs> but uh, metaphorically together. Yeah, yeah, but we're metaphorically we're together in spirit. I mean, I mean, hopefully, we'll be able to meet up, maybe some write some more stuff, um, so that we can come up the next year with a lot of fresh content. But um, fresh. yeah, no, we're fresh for freshers. Fresh for freshers, but no. We're <laughs> In 
one word, can you say what Pulsemore Festival has been about in one word? Or what you feel Pulsemore Festival? Glory. Oh, wow. Uh, feeling. <laughs> Different. The same. That's two, two words. words. Oh, well, come on. That that is the it's implied. It's hyphenated. It's hyphenated. Yes. And my That's main how man, works. Frank, on the end. Uh, Brilliant. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm sat here with Lucas Bailey and Nick Cope of the comedy duo Odd Pair. How are you guys feeling? Very good. Yeah, really good. Yeah, really good. We've even practiced the show. You've practiced the show. Always a good start. So tell us a bit about the show. It's got some singing. It's got some jokes, I hope, and some chat. What's like the basis for the show in general? Uh, that that's pretty much the basis for the that's show. The yeah, we'll okay. we'll sing a bit, and then we like to talk about what we just sung, and then we we'll talk about the next thing we're going to sing. Um, and uh, repeat, repeat until the end. Nice, nice. Do you Any anything? recurrent themes in your singing and your chat? Um, no, not really. Well, in the chat, generally, so I've taken. Um, <laughs> I mean they say that like good comedy, you shouldn't have to like explain the jokes, but okay. we uh, spend a lot of time explaining a the. Um, yeah, oh, nice. there's a lot of. I like that. That's why that was funny. This is why so the a bit of a different, a different take on comedy. Um, yeah, just a worse take. It, has it been done before? <laughs> uh, yes, definitely. Definitely. No, this is when you say no, it's um, never been done before. No, not, Excellent. not like we Good. do it. No. Really? <laughs> I was like, I think I was the fact you left me for a guy named Stevie. For the Middle Ages, Stevie's a character. It was all made of Chelsea. Not characters, you're a person. So, in your, in your brief, you say you're going to change the world through this comedy. How do you plan to do that? God, it feels like... It feels like when we had our Viver and they like called all loads of stuff I'd said about the shirt. Um, we uh, <laughs> we we lied. Um, we panicked. Lied. We had to send something to the Baltimore people, um, and that's what we. So said. the first thing you came up with is we're going to change the world. Yeah, I mean, we do we do kind of retract that statement in the following brief when we say, oh, okay. "Come along and watch us try." Yes, yeah, um, that's true. So, where did the name Odd Pair come from? I see it's like a play on words. You're both odd and you're a pair. Yeah, well, yeah, you got it. We, thank um, you, thank you. Out. Explaining the joke there. <laughs> we, um, a preamble for the show. We, we had a, we had kind of like 10 minutes until the, the term three deadline okay. in the first year, and um, we we were like furiously putting <laughs> word generators on <laughs> our and coming nice, trying to come nice. up with things uh, wh what were the, some of the names we had we had two's a, two's a crowd yeah. <laughs> two's, yeah, two's yeah. a crowd as well I think I wanted to be the lady killers <laughs> some of them are weird <laughs> some of them are really weird okay um, no odd pair suits I think yeah. that's a good name Really Thanks. Good. Couple of creatures with incredible features the better than the bees and the birds and you're both you're both graduates this year yep. is that right you guys gonna go on to comedy Next year, you gonna you gonna hit the stand up set or? Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. do the circuits. Yeah, um, if all else fails, I did see a Snapchat of you taking your clothes off last night, so you true. can always go into stripping. I'm sure. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah sure. You can combine comedy through your stripping. <laughs> <laughs> a burlesque routine with my Lucas Bailey. Nice. You leave rather than follow. I don't usually make it this far, so I can only assume you've got the pressure now. <laughs> but I haven't left the spot that we first met because it's romantic to wait. <laughs> but I see clearly now the rain is gone. You were my rain girl's name. Are you catch? <laughs> Too shame. And I'm creeping. Okay, Lucas, I have one more question for it's you. Really so I hear sometimes pre show nerves, especially oh in Edinburgh, gosh. Edinburgh Fringe, can really overwhelm you. Oh no. This is do you made think, the rounds. Do you think that the same thing will happen? Whereby you. Okay, I'll, I'll, I know, I know what you're getting at. Um, <laughs> this is the story of how Lucas Bailey pooed himself. Before it was. Uh, it had been a long day, and it was ten o'clock at night, and I don't tell Beth Cowley, don't tell the director of the show, but I, I drunk a bit, and you, know uh, this? you don't know this, and. Um, um, just for some context, yeah. Lucas Bailey's dad is stood just off camera watching all of this, and. We were about to go on, and I did what I thought was, you know, like a just a nervous fart, and it wasn't, and I had to. T <laughs> this what? Um, uh, there you yeah. So no, I think I'll be okay, be okay. today. Any um, comments, Nick Cope? 
Uh, I hope he doesn't do that. We sit quite close. <laughs> I might tell you. I, I'll tell you I have, That's and then you. Good. I'll tell you I have, okay, and then you'll have to guess the whole show whether I have or not. And then at the end, I don't know. It's like a fun. <laughs> has he? Has he? Nice. <laughs> what are you going to do? Like, put your pants down. Like, <laughs> so and for the finale, we have. Yeah. No, I feel like that wouldn't go down well. Let's Can hope it doesn't turn into a shit show. Oh. Yeah. Describe Baltimore in one word. Should we try and think of the same word? Yeah, okay. Um. <laughs> Three, two, one. Sunny. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's not even sunny. We at XCV have had a great time here at Baltimore Festival. I've been Tara Jennings. I've been Emily Up. So, till next time, stay sexy. Ha <laughs> ha!